What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and welcome back for another design tutorial. In this episode, we're gonna be doing part two in our Spotify album artwork design series. In the last video, we learned how to refine the selection of an object and pull it out from its background and apply some really cool color and typography behind it. We're gonna take those techniques and apply them today. So if you didn't watch that video, go back and check it out. But today we're gonna use those techniques and some more advanced ones focusing on adjustment layers to make a really smooth monochromatic design style. I hope you're excited, I sure am. Let's get started. The first place we need to start is image selection. That being said, we're gonna grab the photo that I've selected and I'm just gonna drag it into Affinity Photo. Again, I'm gonna zoom out pressing the Command and Minus keys and then I'm just gonna scale my image down. We're gonna use those selection techniques that we learned in the last video by just using the Selection Brush Tool. Okay, so we're back. We fast forwarded through the process, but basically we selected her with the selection brush tool, took it into the refine selection mode and knocked out all those little pieces that are troubled areas in her hair. Then when we came back, we made a duplicate of the layer and we added a mask. And so it's knocked her out from the background. You can see if I just turn off that layer, there she is sitting on top of the background. Is it perfect? No, it's not. If you wanted to do a little bit of extra work, you absolutely could. In this case, we're not really gonna worry about it too much, and I'll tell you why, because adjustment layers we're about to play with are gonna bring in a little bit of magic. The next thing we wanna do is actually layer adjustment layers on top and kind of make her black and white, but still punchy with some contrast so she stands out from the light background that we're gonna give it later. We're gonna work with two adjustment layers here. We're gonna work with some hue and saturation layers, and then we're just gonna work with the blacks and the whites using the level adjustment layer. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select our layer that our subject is on, and we're gonna go over to the adjustment panel right next to the layers tab, and we're gonna drop down to HSL. And I'm just gonna drag the saturation all the way down to the left. It's the only thing I'm gonna do here. I've now desaturated my subject. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my levels adjustment, I'm gonna click on it and you get this histogram that pops out. Now the only thing I'm gonna do is take my black and my white levels, my slider bars, and I'm gonna move them over until she punches out with a little bit more contrast. Remember that magic I was talking about before? You can see if you really zoom in, that as I start moving my whites over, it starts knocking out some of this texture that was left by our selection. I start knocking some of that out by oversaturating it, just to bring some contrast over there with the blacks and we do wanna bring just enough to kind of refine those edges and knock her out even more. Now when we come back, we see in our layers panel, we have both of our adjustment layers sitting on top. That's bad just to have the adjustment layers floating on top, and here's why. If I come over to my layers panel and just turn on my original layer, you can see it's affecting everything. I don't want it to affect everything, I just want it to affect the subject. And so we're gonna drop these adjustment layers directly on the subject itself. I'm gonna select both adjustment layers, and I'm just gonna drag them to be a little vertical line right there on top of our subject. And you can see they're now both applied. I can twirl down my arrow and if I ever wanted to adjust them again, I just double click on them and there they are. But they're tucked away and they're only on the layer itself. Now if I turned on the previous layer, you can see there it is, full color again. That matters because we're gonna start applying some really fun, colorful shapes. I'm just gonna do some circles. Spotify brings a lot of fun variety in the color and the shapes that they use, so have some fun with this part. So now we have a really fun design build. All we have to do is apply the text and the Spotify logo, and you can see the whole piece starts to actually make sense. And there you go, a really cool eye-catching Spotify album art piece. Thanks so much for watching the video. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I hope you guys had fun watching it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of content about design and development and tutorials just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments and make sure to check the description for all the links of the resources I used in this tutorial. Also, make sure to stick around for part three, which should be coming soon, where we tackle Spotify's famous duo tone style. I hope you guys are making amazing things. I hope you're designing amazing things. And I hope you're rocking some sweet jams when you do it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you later.